and I got my I got my hand drill. I went in the kitchen and I said, "Hi, hi, hi, everybody!" I'm drilling a hole through the window. He's outside putting up the antenna, leaning against the house and tying it there and sticking the goddamn cord in. And we brought in a television set, stuck it right in the corner where the windows are there. Turned it on. What was on? Nothing? Snow? Oh, sure, sure, everything was on. We had an aerial and everything. But what, do you recall what you seen? What was that? No. no. Was, Mom, was Mom and the kids all surprised? Oh, yeah. They, they like thought that. it was great? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was it. Oh, yeah. You paid $300 for a TV in 1925. $325. Jesus. You must have been out of your mind. That's a lot of money. No, it wasn't. Well, what year is this? 56? 52. F 52. 52 or 53. I don't know what. 52. That was a... Uh, Let's see real close. 19 back. inch. Get on the hand. Console. It was a console type. Yeah, all nice. Built me in a cabin. Yeah. Admiral. That's what I was. So was this to just a matter of keeping up with the Joneses? I got it. No, in. no, no. This you, was this for to, for my wife and kids' health and well-being. Don't forget, I I was out of town for about two years. I get home on the weekend. And she had to manage with the kids. And then when I Where's the zoom? when I got when we got close enough, I could drive. I was gone at five in the morning. Never got home till seven at night. And took me in the wintertime. Her isolated her. She couldn't get out. Couldn't go nowhere. Yeah. You got a Myrtle story you can tell us just about Myrtle? Hey. You got a Myrtle story you can tell? Where she what? Just a story about Myrtle. Oh yeah, that's yeah. about Myrtle. Yeah, tell tell us a Myrtle story. Oh. Well, that's a Myrtle story. She just perked right up. She so liked the TV, did she? That was great. Well, sure, she wanted the TV. Yeah. She just says, how are we going to pay for it? I said, like, we pay for everything. We pay for it. It was, on, you, it was on time, though, eh? Well, everything was on You're time. Really what are you talking about? I never paid cash or nothing. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't used, afford to pay I cash. used finance companies, mortgage companies. I had the equity. I didn't give a shit. That was their problem. If we went broke, we went broke. How long did it take you to pay off the TV? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Trish is being... You, 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 you just spoil it when you get it like that. I mean, you can't, you can't be... Uh, okay. I couldn't tell you. That's the fun with it. I didn't care. I signed a blank application form. <laughs> and this guy that we financed through, <laughs> if you sold something... I missed half of that. Point. Not once. Did any of them customers default in their payments? Not once. I had 20, 30 of them out there. Oh, so he, oh, he would come after you if they didn't pay? That's what I said. Oh, that's bullshit. That ain't bullshit. That, that, that's the way things were done. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem fair. It seems like they he's given the credit and okay. No, no, no. But nobody, I'm the guy he's dealing with. But everybody was straight, eh? Oh, yeah, everybody okay. was straight. The only provision was... If they didn't make a payment, I was supposed to be notified. Then I had 30 days to get either get them to pay or I had to pay that payment. And how many people? So the thing would be, if they defaulted, I would pay the lousy 15 bucks a month. So they wouldn't come after me for the full amount. Were you ever on the hook? No, not once. Different generation. Some of them were World War I pensioners. And they signed their pension check over to him. And he managed their money. Okay. Sit down by your dad. Sit down by your dad. You get a nicer, you get, believe me, honey, you get a nicer shot. Sit down by your dad. <laughs> you know, you got to quit giving me the finger. It's bad karma. You're going to wear out the light. Or, there was people living here, just old couple, no kids. They had a little house and this piece of property was theirs. They just signed the whole body thing up to him, over to him. Uh, upon their death, he gets it. In the meantime, he paid all their bills. He took the chance. You were a my 
Yeah, you don't get anybody around. It. Please tell it again. Please tell it again. I'm sorry. What do you mean, tell it again? I, well, just start it again. You I gotta keep, get you in keep the saying, oh, this is another one of your all story. Round and round. No, this and is a good one. No, tell it. Start it again. I'm sorry. I just didn't have it on record. Oh, I just told you. Okay, the question is the first time you realized you loved Myrtle. Well, I just told. Uh, Trish, but the first time was when she whispered in my ear during a stupid game, and she had, it was at her uh, engagement party, which I was not too happy about at the time, but I was just slow. Did you know the fellow's name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know his name. Okay, keep it to yourself. I don't know whether he ever come back from the war. They were, they were taken prisoner at uh, Dieppe. The fiasco that the goddamn British generals, they wanted to test the strength of the coastal defenses Germany, uh, from France. So they picked on the Canadian battalion to go over and make a landing. They didn't even they didn't even take them guys and give them extra training like uh, you know commando training which they should have had. So you know it was unfortunate for this guy, but when did you move in? When did you make your move to? Didn't make the move to D Day. No, time. no, for you you asking her to marry her and stuff like that. To, did he give it a bit of time or? Oh yeah. What a year. Did you just ask her the one time? Yeah. Yeah. This one. No arm twisting. Hmm. She no. went. She went uh, willingly. Of course. Yeah. Do you have any stories from the first year of your marriage? Hmm. No, we just lived in two rooms down on Greenwood Avenue. With relatives? And it was the biggest snowstorm in the history of Toronto. Oh, yeah? Come along. Uh -huh. Yeah, there was four feet of snow. I, I had a garage in the back I rented, but for some stupid reason, it was snowing like hell. I had a hell of a time getting home. I was working until midnight. So I decided to put the buddy car in the garage and it went down. had about that much currents on each side down between the two houses. When I got up the next morning and looked out the back window, <laughs> four feet of snow up against the door. I said, oh, I'm not going to work today. Spent the day digging Hey, your garden. mother said, oh, that's good. We'll go down the, the dam for do some shopping. I said, yeah, well, we'll be walking down. Why is that? I said, take a look. Said, oh, my gosh. So, I phoned in, said, well, I won't be in for about a week. What do you mean? I said, I'm snowed in. I said, uh, according to the radio, the only thing that's moving is the streetcars. Well, we got some calls on, on streetcar lines. You can, uh, this, the drugstore there and a grocery store. <laughs> 